Hello everybody, it's uh, it's me, TNT. I'm uh, back and I'm starting the new year off with this nice little installation guide for Tachyons. Uh, Tachyons is a game that I found out recently and um, it's like FTL in space and it's really good. I like it, so this is why I'm doing the installation guide because it's a bit of a hassle to currently do it. Um, to play online and stuff like that. Uh, but with a Steam version that's coming this year, it's going to be different servers and stuff. Um, there is a Discord channel, uh, Discord link for this, sorry. And um, the links for uh, everything that you need to set up a single player, a multiplayer, and the Discord channel. They, those links will be in the description. If you want to learn how to play, I recommend doing the in-game tutorial or asking someone on the Discord server because I have no idea how to play. Um, but basically, it's like FTL, but instead of controlling a ship, you control, or controlling a crew, you control a single person. And it's really fun. Anyway, that's enough about this and that. It's time to get into installation. So, uh, to get the game, uh, you go to itch.io. You uh, click download now, as you always do. Uh, you can either pay or just go straight to the downloads. Uh, and you get faced with four... Uh, downloadable editions. Now you can download any edition, but the edition I'm going to download is Community Edition, because why, why not, you know? So anyway, you click that button, it shows up uh, down in the little corner if you're using Chrome, and then what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads and extract it, and you'll get faced with this folder once you extract it. Uh, now you just drag that somewhere safe, I've dragged it to my uh, hard drive, uh, my little h.io games folder. Now Inside the Tachyon folder, you'll be faced with client, server, and release notes. Release notes, you don't need to worry about. That's just this. Uh, anyway, to start up a game uh, for a single player, you go straight to server, tachyonserver.exe, and you get this little box. That means the server's running, because uh, it's literally just a little code that says, start the server on this computer, please. At least, that's what I think. Anyway. Um, for the actual running the game, you want to go to client, uh, here, so if I go back, client, tachyon.exe, get this. Now it's going to be in a smaller window, so I do recommend, uh, going to the options. I've muted all the audio so you can hear me because it's kind of loud. Uh, I mean, this is what I have and then you still couldn't hear me over the last three recordings that I've done. Ugh. Anyway, you want to click start game. Now, this is where it gets, uh, quote unquote, interesting because you're faced with server IP and ports. Now, quick advice, don't fuck with the ports. Port stays 30303 forever. Uh, but with the IP, the current IP that you see on the screen, 127.0.0.1, that's the one you are automatically given. That is uh, a loop back into your own computer. So that IP is saying, play on this computer's IP. It's a loop around thing, you don't need to use your IP, uh, own IP, you just need that code to play single player and on your server that you're hosting. So that's the host IP, if you are hosting. And you click connect, ta-da, uh, make sure the server's running as well, otherwise it'll just say unable to connect. Anyway, um, this is the login screen, it says login and password, just click create new, and you get this jazz. You can select your race, uh, and you just do your login, your password, and then you click create, it takes you back here, you put your login, uh, your, whoops your password, and you're in. Ta-da! Now, for multiplayer, it gets a little bit more difficult, in a sense, because um, you'll need to mess around with IPs since it's kind of like a LAN-only kind of thing. So what I do is I went to vpn.net, uh, Hamachi, just search up Hamachi VPN and you get sent here. The link will be in the description. Uh, and you download it and run it. So, Hamachi, it should run, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Log me in Hamachi. So, you get given this uh, after you install it and run it and everything. And uh, it gives you a proxy IP. This isn't my IP, this is a proxy IP. Um, and what you want to do is you power on, you log in, and you get uh, just a power on. Don't mind this, uh, because that'll come later. But here, First thing you want to do to get Hamachi to work with the game is you want to go to System, Preferences, Settings, Advanced Settings, scroll all the way down, 
disable UPnP, yes. Click OK, restart your Hamachi, power it on. You've got to do that with everybody. So everybody who gets Hamachi that wants to play with you disables UPnP. Otherwise it won't work. So if you have friends, make sure to send them to this installation guide. And if you are that friend, disable your UPnP. Thank you. Now, if you are the host, what you'd like to do is go to network, create a new network, and then put your network ID and name in there. So just name your network, put a password in, and then send that network name and password to your friend. And then if you want to join, put the network ID and password and you join. Uh, in order to get a, um, a friend to join the server, what you'll need to do now is once they're in the Hamachi network, you need to open server, tachyonserver.exe, the server comes up, easy peasy, go to client, tachyon.exe. Right, now that you've booted Tachyon while in the Hamachi server, um, if you're the host, then your setup should look uh, something like this. If it does, you're fine, you can go in. If you want to join the host, what you need to do is you need to get the IPv4 of the server by clicking and copying IPv4, and then type that in there. You're gonna have to type it. So for example, this is the one that I have for today. It'll change tomorrow probably. Uh, I don't know how the Hamachi servers work, but make sure you copy your own, nobody else's, otherwise that's illegal. Um, but there you go, you're in, as a client. Easy, simple, that's it. That's all you need to do. Copy the IPv4 of the Hamachi server you're in, put it in there, port 30303, and you're in, you're done, that's it. Uh, one last thing as well I forgot to say before signing off, uh, to turn off your Hamachi, what you want to do is you want to click the power off button, close it, go to your little thing, and exit there in your little tray. Right, thank you for watching. That's been uh, very cool, very fun. I hope to see you on the game, and uh, make sure you check out the Steam page once it's done. Alright.